Hi, I'm Dalbir Singh, and today we're going to take a look at the stuff function in SQL Server. You're joining me on the flightradar24.com website, where I've collected five random flight numbers for today's demo. So here I have a table storing those five random flight numbers that I found earlier on Flight Radar, along with their corresponding airline codes. Now, most flight numbers generally use a two letter airline identifier. And today we want to replace those with the full three letter airline code. And so to do that, I'm going to use the stuff function and I'm just going to show you the stuff function in practice and then I'll explain how it works. So stuff, the string that we want to work on, which is going to be the flight number column expression. We're going to start at the beginning and I want to remove the first two characters and finally replace them with the airline code expression and I'm just going to alias this column flight number code so let's try this and there we go magic it's completely replaced those initial two letter identifiers with the three letter airline code so how exactly has stuff done this well let's take a look at this last row here in more detail so I have here the official definition of the stuff function from the SQL Server books online. And as you can see, it contains around four parameters. The first parameter is the character expression. So this is the string that we want to operate on, which could be a column or a piece of text. Next is the start parameter, and this specifies where we're going to initially insert our replacement text. Now, if you're from a programming background, you're probably used to using zero to specify the beginning of your index within a string. But for the stuff function, that value is actually one. The next parameter is a little bit abstract because it's just called length. But what it actually refers to is the amount of characters that you want to delete from the start position. Now, if you don't want to delete any characters, you can just enter a zero. However, in our case, we entered two because we wanted to delete the first two characters. And finally is the replace with expression. And this is the text that you want to insert at this position. So let's take a look at that last row in the table and the statement that we executed. So you can see here for the first parameter, the character expression, we supplied the flight number. For the start parameter, we specified one because we want to start at the beginning of the string. For the length parameter, and remember, this is the amount of characters that you want to delete from the start position, we specified two. And that got rid of the first two letters. And finally, for the fourth parameter, which is the replace with expression, we asked to insert the airline code in this location. And that's exactly what we got. It's also worth mentioning that you could have achieved the same result by using a combination of concat and substring. But in this scenario, I prefer to use the stuff function as it's much more concise and easier to read. If you want to find out more about the stuff function, check out the SQL Server books online. There's a link to this page in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more SQL Server content. Thanks for watching.